Stampede Update, brought to you by Hockey 605. I'm Dakota Case, and I'm here with the under-18 head coach, Rylan Galliardi. How are we doing today, Rylan? Good, Dakota. How are you? You know, I'm doing very well. I'm really excited to see uh, what the junior Stampede are, are going to be doing here this season and, and what they've already accomplished. Um, I, I guess, first of all, can you uh, uh, give us a background of uh, your experience in the wonderful world of hockey? Yeah, well, uh, hockey's been uh, fantastic to me. Uh, I grew up in Calgary, played my youth hockey there. Uh, I actually played junior hockey down here in the States. Then I played college hockey at Minnesota State. Played four years pro after that. Um, and then last year I was a head coach in junior hockey last year. And then this year I helped start up the new junior stampede here. That's great. Uh, what exactly is the affiliation between the junior stampede and the, uh, the big club, I guess you could say? Well, I think we go around the country and uh, the Stampede logo is, is on our jersey, so uh, the brand is there for sure. I think uh, we've played a few games downtown. Uh, we actually have one of our guys practicing with the USHL team right now. I think we'd like it to evolve to a point to where uh, players that aren't quite ready or too young for the Stampede uh, get parked here in Sioux Falls. And so the, the junior guys are able to keep an eye on them and that they're getting the right development here. Um, you know, there, there's an affiliation there. We work together. We're having a Super Series tournament next weekend. Uh, we'll have some games at the Shields Iceplex here and some games downtown. Um, and I, I personally work with the coaches pretty well. I've uh, got to know Briggs um, since the summer. And uh, Coach Owens actually coached against me when he was at Colorado College. And now we're getting to know each other um, as coaches. So um, it's been good so far. That's great. So, um, what exactly? I think you've already uh, discussed this just, just a little bit here in your last response. Uh, but what uh, is the benefit of having uh, that affiliation with the Stampede? What What are the Stampede doing for you? And what's the Junior Stampede doing for the Stampede? Well, I think from an exposure standpoint, I mean, we can sell to, to our players and parents that we try to recruit here or that are here that you know there's a high level hockey right here. So there's going to be the right eyes on a kid if he's good enough and if he's uh, ready for it. And at the same time, you know, there's beautiful facilities. Um, there's, there's great coaching. There's great things for those guys to see. I mean, if you want to know what it takes to get to the USHL, well, why don't you go Friday night and watch the game? Yeah. Or why don't you come during 1, 1.30, 2 o'clock and watch the guys practice every day and find out what it takes. And, um, you know, for the Stampede, for the big club, I think, Having midget hockey teams and prospective players coming through Sioux Falls more regularly, having our team practicing here every day, um, I think is a, is a great benefit for them. And uh, like I said, it would be great if it evolved to the point to where some of their affiliate players are on our team. Uh, maybe a guy gets a couple games during the year. Uh, maybe they have an injury and, and we have a player that they deem is good enough. Um, that can call up and, and fill that role. So I think that's what uh, what both of us would like it to get to. I think it'd be mutually beneficial. Okay, Rylan, uh, one last kind of big question here for you. Uh, you have a lot of players that come from around the country to play in this program, this, this brand new program. What does a program like this do for the South Dakota players, the, the kids that are coming up through the uh, the Sioux Falls Flyers, the Brookings Rangers, I mean, it, it goes on and on through, through the South Dakota Amateur Hockey Association. Yeah, well, I think what our owner and general manager, Matt Tobin, uh, seen it as an opportunity for local kids and families. Um, what they were seeing is a lot of very good players leaving for better hockey, mm -hmm. better youth hockey, and uh, what we'd like to do is both develop kids here and the ones that would in the past need to go somewhere, now there's somewhere for them to play, and play at a high level. Um, and I think we're showing that with our team right now. Uh, we've played in three tournaments around the country so far, and uh, we've won 12 of 15 games. So I think we're showing that this is a competitive environment. Obviously we have the facilities. Um, I think we have a decent coach to help guide these guys. Um, I think there's a lot of a lot of the tools and a lot of the framework to make that happen. So where do you see this program going? Well, I think we could be, you know, a place that kids from different places want to come, uh, almost to where 
you know, we could be a, lo a lower level Shattuck type situation. I, um, you know, we don't have um, the magical school and the, the facilities as far as on campus and, and, the, and the homes that we have great billet families. We have the USHL team here. We have a, a practice facility here that's one of the best, brand new. Uh, we train. We train at the Sanford Field House. I think we could be a regular national contender at the midget level, and, and uh, an organization that moves players on. But more importantly, one thing that we've prided ourselves in, and one thing that I think is going to really take things to the next level year to year, and, and both bring kids back here and inspire other kids to come here is we care about the kids. That's the number one thing that I promise. And there's only two things that I promise. We'll care about you and you'll develop. But I know we'll follow through on both of those, and I think we have. And I think at the end of the day, those are the most important. Well, Ryland, we're out of time, but I want to thank you so much for taking uh, the time to talk to us here at Hockey 605. Thank you so awesome. Much. Thanks, Dakota. Ryland Galliardi. This is Dakota Case for Hockey 605, and you are Hockey 605.